The families lined up in this queue in southern Pakistan are anxiously waiting for their children to undergo a test that could forever change their lives. Their visible distress an indication of just how dire the situation is. Hundreds of people in this village, mostly children, were recently diagnosed with HIV after a doctor repeatedly used a contaminated syringe. Until now, 13,800 members of the general public have been screened. None of them belong to a high-risk population. Of those screened, 510 cases have been tested HIV positive. Out of those cases, 410 are children and around 100 are adults. Authorities are still investigating whether the cases are a result of malicious intent or gross negligence. Either way, the local epidemic is indicative of the poor state of health services in some areas of the country. Experts warn the HIV infection rate is likely to surge due to the often unsanitary use of equipment, frequent medical malpractice and undertrained doctors. As just one example, when Ramina Bibi's 10-year-old child came down with a fever, a doctor prescribed him paracetamol and told her not to worry. It wasn't until she sought a second opinion that she realized the problem was much more serious. The doctor prescribed him with paracetamol syrup, which stopped the fever. But we later went to another doctor who screened the entire family and cleared most of us. However, he told me that one child has been infected with HIV. Though Pakistan long had some of the lowest infection rates of HIV, it is rapidly expanding. With some 20,000 new cases diagnosed in 2017, the country now has the second fastest growing HIV rate in Asia.